There is no new... Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Call Ma the Honourable Louise Upston. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, the speaker before me seems to be a little confused about um, principles in the uh, Act, and the principles are in part one, which is what we are debating in this committee um, of the whole House. And the committee of the whole House is an important stage um, to be able to look at proposed changes, um, both from the select committee process and, of course, supplementary order papers that are tabled. Um, and my colleague, uh, Simon O'Connor, will have has a supplementary order paper on part one that he will speak to shortly, so I won't steal his thunder. Um, but when there is a substantial supplementary order paper tabled by the minister um, to the degree that it's been tabled um, just over a week ago, uh, it actually does require, and, and, and good governance should allow, um, scrutiny other than this only opportunity here in the House. But in terms of the principles, Principles. Um, the, I think the speaker before me didn't understand how the principles of the Act work, of, of the bill work, because one of them says people for whom work is not appropriate should be supported in accordance with this Act. Um, there's no disagreement with that. There is absolutely no disagreement. Absolutely, people who need to be supported should. Uh, and, and I don't think there'd be any New Zealander that would dispute that. Um, it also says in the principle A, states, work in paid employment offers the best opportunity for people to achieve social and economic well-being. Um, that is the first principle. That is the first principle that's stated. Uh, and so what the, what the speaker before me um, sort of started to go off on a complete tangent um, about the fact that the government uh, wouldn't support people with disabilities. So I'm not quite sure where the member uh, has gone with that. But what I do want to say, and I think it's important for this House to, um, to recall this, um, in the departmental report of this legislation, when it was in the Select Committee, and it's a pity it's not returning, um, the departmental report uh, really quite clearly stated um, Labour and the Greens' view of this legislation. So I'm somewhat surprised that the member who's resumed her seat wasn't um, focused on, on those issues. And also one of the um, areas that uh, both Labor and the Greens seem to um, talk about, and this was an opportunity to put that talk into action, was about placing the well-being of children at the forefront of everything the government does. Um, and yet there's an opportunity, there was an opportunity to do that with this legislation that they've just allowed to completely slip past, because when we talk about, and, and yeah, I accept it'll be uncomfortable uh, for members opposite, when you talk about families who are in long-term welfare dependency, uh, some of those families have significant challenges in areas of dysfunction. And by having a principle here that is actually about providing frontline staff providing work and income, the Ministry of Social Development, a greater ability to respond to the needs, the greater ability to respond to the need. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but, the, but the, member, the Greens member has just suggested that frontline MSD staff aren't trained um, and wouldn't be able to do this job effectively. It probably echoes actually the Minister's own um, complaining and criticism of frontline staff and the decisions they make, which I quite frankly think is embarrassing. The minister should be supporting her staff um, first and foremost. But this this principle, this principle that um, the Ardern Peters government is removing in this SOP is the ability for frontline staff to respond to the needs of some of the most complex cases they deal with. Children's Commissioner talks about 10% of the children in New Zealand who come from and have incredible difficulties. Some of their parents, some of their caregivers are the very parents that we're talking about trying to support in principle E in this legislation. And so it is um, very surprising, Madam Chair, that um, the Minister would get rid of an opportunity to provide 
greater levels of assistance to those very families and their children. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Madam Chair. Call Palm Jeet Palmer. Thank you. Madam Chair. Um, I am very keen to talk about uh, the minister.